Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my Blitzmax Space Invaders tutorial part 2. And this part, as I said before, we are going to create a way to load our player as an actual image and not a rectangle. And we are also going to set up um, collisions so you can't you know, leave the plane area. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of restructure our program a little bit uh, for future use. Um, so under types here, we are going to put a little comment here, create a generic type for all other types. Though you may not end up using it for absolutely everything, but we're going to call this type T entity object. And essentially what this type is going to do is it's going to allow us to um, basically uh, well, for example, we're going to move field X, field Y, field speed. Any of our fields are going to go in here unless they're specific to this type. And we'll also put the draw and update state in here. And as you will see um, in a little bit, uh, it essentially allows for cleaner code and a lot more reuse. So you don't have to, you know, like have like, say you have like, a bunch of different types of enemies and they all have their own type well they're all gonna have an X and Y and a speed and instead of typing all that out you can just have it extend this and it's already in there so we're just gonna copy this over here and oops draw entity and we're gonna put our draw state right here And we're just going to leave this blank for now because we're going to show you that how it works. And, and we're going to want to put method, <clears throat> sorry, method, update state, abstract. Okay, so basically what this means right here is, is that we're creating a method called update state. And it's abstracted, meaning that each type will have its own update state. Whereas right here, anything we put in here, every single type will have. But here we're saying that we need to make an update state for each entity ourselves. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And I'm going to put extends t entity, oops, might help if I spell it right, t entity object. Now if we run this, you can see that we have exactly what we had before. Except now we can create multiple types and not have to re-enter in the same variables over and over and over again. We can just extend it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I have, I will uh, upload this and the source, but I created a folder called data and inside of it I put a PNG of a little ship that I made. It's a very crappy ship. I apologize. I am not an artist. And we're going to use that as our player. Okay, so we're going to create a function to load our player. So function and function. Function create t player. And what we need to do is we need to assign a few variables in the function to these uh, values right here. So file string, basically this is going to be used for our player x start, y start, and we'll just leave speed out of this for now. Okay, so we now need to create a new variable and I'm just going to call this player t player equals new T player. Okay. Alright, now we need to assign these values to these right here. So player dot x equals x start. Player dot y equals y start. And we're gonna go up to our T entity object and we need a new variable called image and we will call it t image and 
we will player dot image equals load image oops file okay <coughs> so now now what we have is we have a way to basically create our player give it x coordinates y coordinates and set it to an image so we don't have to do this anymore and now what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to create a nice lovely if statement that says if the player image isn't found um, and the program so if player dot image equals null print player not found and and exit the program I'll just name it as the file and then we want to return player okay so now we have a way to create our player and we check to see if the image itself is actually found and now we can load up our player okay so now we need to go into our t entity object and we need to do a draw image image x and y okay now we'll go up here and we'll get rid of this and we will load and create oops, our player so we wanted to make it a local player c player equals c, oops t player dot create data player dot png and we'll set it at we'll get rid of these values because we don't need to hard code that in anymore okay now we'll get rid of this and we will do player dot draw state now if we don't have any issues here which hopefully we don't and we do ah one mistake I apologize I forgot to assign x and y start as integers okay so with that done and it recompiled you can see we now have our player ship on screen and zipping around okay so the next thing we need to do is obviously we need collision with the boundary so we're gonna go down into our update state in our t player object or type and check for screen boundaries now this is a nice little simple uh, hack method to check uh, to see where we are at and obviously to tell it to stop moving so if x is less than zero x equals zero and we need to do one more if x is greater than um, what is it I do believe it is 736 and x equals 736 so we're going to go in and test this just to check the math and make sure it's correct and if we do this as you can see we can no longer go over that way on the x and now we'll go over here and make sure this is correct and it is all right now we just need to do the same thing for the y so if zero and I do believe this is 536 and I'll explain how I get 536 so basically if we open this folder and you can if you're on Windows or whatever you know you, you can tell sometimes they'll tell you the dimensions if it's a appropriate format that Windows can actually read um, dimensions 64 by 64 and we know that our screen coordinates is 800 by 600 so subtract 800 by 64 and you get 736 subtract 600 by 536 uh, sorry subtract 600 by 64 and you get 536 okay so that concludes this tutorial and the next tutorial we're going to create our enemy and we will um, also set up a basic type for our missile or laser I haven't decided what we're going to use but we're going to get that up and then we'll get some basic combat in and then we'll start setting up our uh, 
our enemies. Okay, so if you have any questions, stop by the Blitzmax forum. The community is tremendously helpful. Um, and also, you can also contact me on mine. And if you'd like to keep up to date with like when new when these new tutorials be coming out, um, just uh, follow me on Twitter or Facebook. You can check the description. And as I said before, I will be uploading uh, the source and the image, obviously. And you can just grab it on there uh, from the link. Just check the description. It's all there. Don't ask me where it is. It will be in the description. Thank you.